Hello, hello, dear friends. Happy Monday. I just came from the gym. I'm actually not in Cayman right now. I'm in Florida. I was here for a conference. That is so much about purpose for me, for our lives, for Christians, for missionaries. And to the next few days, it's just going to be kind of unpacking that and relaxing and just preparing for the week ahead. But I wanted to jump in because registration for the Catalyze Your Purpose Masterclass is closing Wednesday evening. And, you know, we've been talking about purpose. If you've been following me for the last, well, a long time, but specifically this month on the podcast, the freebie, everything has been centered around catalyzing your purpose. Now, purpose is something that you're going to be discovering for your whole life. I'm going to be quite honest, and it's going to shift. And for me, God is the one that really dictates that purpose. And it has shifted over the years, even coming back here when I was in college and really found Jesus, I was like, I just need to do ministry with women for the rest of my life. But I learned a lot. I learned a lot about leadership. I learned about a lot about coaching actually and leading women. But then I moved back and I was involved in accounting and business. And it was a whole, there's a lot of stuff that I felt along the way, but I thought this was one thing that I was supposed to do, but yet here I'm doing this other thing. And I truly believe that was part of God's plan. And I truly believe that not all of us are supposed to be entrepreneurs, not all of us are supposed to be in business, that everything, we're all uniquely made. And how do you start owning that? How do you start seeing what your vocation is? Vocation is calling and really walk in that and own it. Because there's one thing to think, I know I'm made for more and I might know what I want to do or might not and just go on with regular life. But if you do that, you are not going to live the full life that you want, desire, and were actually called to live. And what happened? Instead of going into quote-unquote full-time ministry, I started my own business doing the things I love to do. Talking about health, wellness, life, purpose, finances, all these different things. Really on a mission to see women move from really struggling to feel ashamed, not feeling enough not feeling like their life is how they want to feeling like they're flourishing and actually flourishing and thriving, right? And it is a mission. It is my mission to do so in every part of my life. But specifically, I think, I didn't realize, but I definitely have the privilege of to make my vocation, my calling the same as my occupation because those are two different things. And sometimes it's different. You know, sometimes you may be working in another job but you feel really called to this. And sometimes you have the opportunity to make your job, your occupation, your vocation, sometimes not. And that's okay. That's not like someone's better than the other or we've made it, you know? Uh, I just think the biggest thing is for us to, one, know what our purpose is and start walking in it, regardless of if it's your job, regardless of if it's on the side, whatever it is. And I, in the last two years, as people have watched me kind of pursue it, They've once said I'm inspiration, all that, and I'm great. I'm so honored to be that inspiration. But I want my inspir want me what I've done to inspire you so much that it takes you to action. Because inspiration without action just makes you feel good. It doesn't change your life, and it doesn't change anyone else's life. And there has to come a point where we have to say, okay, I don't feel like I have enough time. I don't feel like I have enough money. But I'm going to choose to act anyways. Because trust me, when I first started and still sometimes I'm like, I don't feel like I have enough time. I don't feel like I have enough money. I don't feel, but I have to act. And even after coming from this conference, which is really about, it's a long, long thing, living a missionary life in your everyday life. In, I, I, we can have another conversation about that. But I feel called to take action in a certain way. That means adding something to my life. And at first you're like, oh my gosh, I'm like, man, Brandon, you have like multiple businesses, you have multiple ministries, you have, but I'm like, it does not matter. I think there's a time and place. And and so, yeah, things will unfold in the right time. But when I feel God stir something in my heart, I cannot sit still because it, it irks me. Like it really does like make me feel unsettled. And I think that's for the right reason, because until we act, we should feel unsettled. And so I'm coming to you today to ask you if you know that you are made for more, to do something more with your life, that you're on this earth to bless others, to serve others, and to do something very unique, it's time. 
it's time you own it and you do something about it. And so I would love, and, I'm, and I've been very intentional about how long these sessions will be and when. I've, I don't typically like to do a lot of things, a lot of work on the weekends, but I wanted women to be there uh, as much as they could. So this Saturday online, even if you're in Cayman and you just can't make the Sunday one online from 3 to 6 p.m. Eastern, we're going to jump on Zoom, group, group session, and we're going to kind of go through the workbook that I released, but we're going to go a little bit more in depth and work out together this unique plan to catalyze your purpose. And then I'm actually gonna do two weeks after that instead of one week before and after Facebook group support where you can uh, post your questions as you're processing it, you can go live, I can go live, all these different things. Uh, and then on Sunday is the same thing, is, but it's in person at the Art Nest. And it is only 75 CI or 97 US for three hours of group coaching two hours of Facebook group support, and just a community of women to really, and, and me, to really support you in owning your value and worth, owning what you can bring and how you can serve the world. But you need to first take the first step because I'm, I'm taking my step, right? And, and we can even talk about that, like the steps that I'm going to be taking, how I'm going to be looking at this seven-step plan and really looking at it for this new thing that I feel God birthing in my heart and even my current things, right? But you need to take the first step and you need to say that I'm ready to do this and I'm ready to walk in it and figure it out along the way. So in the link to this video, www.madewell345.com slash catalyze your purpose masterclass, you can find more information and you can pay and sign up. It is only 75 CI 97 US for two weeks of support plus a three hour group coaching session. So I... I'm just going to say, if you know it's time, it's time and get the support you need. We'll love to journey with you. And if you don't feel like it's time and you're not ready to take action, then that's okay. But if you know you need to take action, take action. I don't know what I'm going to be doing this masterclass again. I'm doing something different next month, which I'm so excited about. But we'll talk about that later. Anyways, I'm going to go shower, get ready for the day, but I hope you're doing well. Please let me know if you have any questions at all about the masterclass below, but Go check it out, and I hope you join us. Registration closes Wednesday. Okay?